Hi my lovely viewers, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite gloomy here in Bengaluru since last couple of weeks. Staying motivated without being a lazy cat is challenging. Well, my day begins at 5.30 am but my routine starts at 8.30 am. After dropping Ruhi, I go for a walk sometimes or shop veggies or just head back home if my video work is pending. Today, I will take you all through my 20 minute cleaning routine that is more than enough to keep your space ready throughout the day. I have done two cleaning videos so far so if interested you can check the playlist and suit yourself a topic to watch. But let's stick to this one first. After the morning rush, first thing I look forward to is Sukunwali Chai. The stove is turned on and so is my mind that knows multitasking is better than wasting. My maid comes at 6.30 am. She unloads my drying dishes and keeps them on the counter. This drives me crazy as it adds on to visual clutter. Maintaining an open plan station can be tedious at times. I like to see my counter clean or clutter free. So while the tea gets ready, I quickly pile up the work here. Quickly, yes, I will stress on that. Well, if you speed up, you will get more time to focus on other tasks, isn't it? Life's too busy for people in today's era. It's crazy with younger kids, work, managing home and all. Setting yourself to a limit is quite important. After having tea, Sakti heads to freshen up and I quickly make the breakfast. I generally prepare our breakfast along with Ruhi's but sometimes her favourites are not our kind of breakfast. Today is peas poha, easy, simple and quick. Soak poha for 30 seconds or 2 minutes depending upon the thickness of poha you choose. Heat a karai or pan, add 1 tablespoon of oil, add jeera. Once it splatters, add grated ginger, curry leaves chopped green chilies and peanuts. Once it starts leaving the aroma, add handful of green peas. I have used the frozen one so make sure you keep the peas in water for 5 minutes before they hit the pan if you are using the frozen ones. Cover the lid and cook it until they turn soft. Once done, add the soaked poha, give a good stir. Adding salt as per taste. Squeeze half a lemon and stir it again. Do try it out. It's simple, easy and very quick. Once I wrap up making the breakfast, I start putting back the food mats and carpets back in their place. I don't make the bed immediately. There are two reasons. Lack of time due to morning rest. Second, it's believed sweat, mites 
and their droppings that cause asthma will be trapped underneath. So allow them to have some breathing time. I do it after settling down from the morning rush. I don't thrive for perfection. I just put things back to their places where they belong. Remember, we have 20 minutes to wrap up everything. Don't focus on deep cleaning. I then let the natural light and air flow into the rooms. Bangaloreans need it badly nowadays. Dyson has been a very good investment for me. I quickly vacuum the bed. Vacuuming keeps the floor clean and cuts my extra task of cleaning. All extra empty medicine strips are taken care of and organized. Well, we were blessed with sudden downpour again. Now I move to my living room, put back the chairs onto their positions, pick up all the clothes, straighten up the sofa and upright the cushions. Quick pick up and straight up is more than enough to make a room look tidy. The surrounding was turning out so blissful that I felt like turning on the accent lights everywhere. I follow the same pattern for the kids bedroom too and dining area almost stays in order except the table that just needs quick pick up. Once I'm done uprighting organizing, I quickly vacuum the floors of all the rooms just to pick the settled dust. Decide on your busiest space. I don't work with timer, instead I block my tasks. It may work for you or may not. You can set a timer for each room and work accordingly, if you all are comfortable. Prioritize it and stop when you reach 20 minutes time frame. This is my technique to bring order to my space in shortest time and that's how most of the time it's in control. By this time, Sakti is out and he has his breakfast at his work table. I do mine on the couch, checking on my phone. I tackle the kitchen last. The chopping board, the teacups, the knives and the pillars all get a good clean to be ready for the next meal. I don't take a lot of time here during morning. I take care of the backsplash that's near the stove.
Wash the spoon rest and use a little this soap to clean the countertop. It's easy, quick and more effective with less effort. Once done, I give a good wipe with the microfiber. This leaves my kitchen clean and order free. Lastly, I tackle the sink. It's peaceful to watch organized and clean home. It emits positivity. Well, now my home is a better place for the entire day. One thing that you don't see here is dusting. I do my dusting task at night and it just takes 10 minutes. Well, it's surface dusting and not the deep one. So basically, it's 30 minutes of cleaning per day to turn your home a better place. Clean home makes me productive. Now I can work with peace. This speed cleaning helps you when you are not motivated enough to do the dedicated cleaning task. It's baseless to have one day dedicated to one room. You will end up stressing out. Basically, you will end up spending more time in cleaning than focusing on self. I hope this piece of content was helpful and motivating enough. I would love to hear from you on what are your tips, tricks or schedules. Do share them in my comment box. Thank you so much for watching and happy cleaning. See you all soon on Friday. Bye-bye.